Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, Mr. Smith, I want to ask you about your ongoing investigations involving transnational criminal actors defrauding our pandemic relief programs. Uh, it looks like in a statement that the Secret Service put out in December, you talked about a group called APT41. Are you familiar with that group? Yes, sir. And it says in your statement, APT41 is a quote unquote Chinese state sponsored cyber threat group that is highly adept at conducting espionage missions and financial crimes for personal gain. Are you familiar with, familiar with that? I'm familiar with the uh, article, sir. Yes, sir. And apparently, according to this same article, this group, the APT41 Chinese state sponsored cyber gang, uh, stole tens of millions of dollars and U.S. COVID, COVID relief benefits, including SBA loans, unemployment insurance funds in over a dozen states. Isn't that right? That's what the article stated, yes, sir. Now tell me, sir, since that article came out, um, I got to believe that they've probably targeted a lot of states beyond a dozen. Um, can you tell us uh, how widespread uh, the geographic coverage was in terms of the number of states that they had uh, tried to target? So, again, I'm familiar with the article. Um, our national pandemic fraud coordinator, uh, who testified last uh, summer, uh, who I appointed to that position, uh, a supervisor in one of our field offices, uh, the spirit of what he was conveying uh, was that it is unimaginable that organized transnational criminal organized groups did not look to exploit pandemic related fraud. Uh, no different than you know an American would. Um, it is there are some commonalities uh, between some of the uh, thousands of bank accounts uh, that we've seen uh, used to move illicitly gain pandemic uh, fraud fraud resources uh, that were also being used uh, by some of those uh, transnational criminal organized groups uh, to include the one you mentioned. Uh, it is also worth mentioning when we do have cases that involve um, transnational criminal organized groups or state-sponsored entities, we do uh, employ Can I, our Let me stop you there. Department. Okay, we've now established APT41 is a Chinese state-sponsored cyber gang. Now let me just turn your attention to Russia. Uh, have we an identified any Russian state-sponsored cyber gangs involved in pandemic fraud? A lot of the uh, Russian underlying uh, pandemic-related fraud has to do with folks dealing in identity theft. So, so for decades, we've, we've known uh, forms uh, wherein people uh, deal State-sponsored, though. Are they state-sponsored? Sir, the Secret Service focuses on financial crimes. Uh, whether or not uh, an entity is state-sponsored or not is generally not uh, why we uh, tend to focus on them. We follow money, and if that leads us to a state-sponsored actor, uh, we then, uh, we don't stop the case, but we then employ our, our partners at DOJ. And have you, have you come across that link yet? In other words, that required a referral to DOJ? We the referral to DOJ is actually a part of the task force the DOJ started at the beginning of the pandemic. So there, there are cases wherein uh, we have some linkages or commonalities uh, between cases we're working for financial crime reasons, and they, there may be a state-sponsored actor that has some commonalities there. Okay, so now we've established that there have been Chinese state-sponsored cyber gangs as well as Russian state-sponsored and linked to the state uh, individuals who've committed pandemic relief crimes. Sir, now, sir, what I said was that there are commonalities between some of the accounts and, um, and other indicators we've seen. That's what I said. Okay. Now, with regard to APT 41 in particular, uh, in your statement, I'm sorry, the U.S. Secret Service's statement, yes, it said it was, quote, unquote, state-sponsored. Now, did, uh, have you been able to identify any evidence that the Chinese Communist Party ordered or asked this particular cyber gang to commit this fraud, or do we have evidence that they just merely looked the other way and permitted them, knowing them, to have committed this fraud? Sir, I have no evidence as to what the uh, Chinese government um, ordered a transnational criminal organized uh, entity to do. Are there any other... Um, uh, cyber gangs, state-sponsored, uh, either Chinese or Russian or any other state-sponsored criminal gangs that have committed pandemic fraud? Sir, just last year, 
Um, we disrupted a transnational criminal organized group uh, known as Black Axe. Uh, they're Nigerian based. Uh, they were operating in South Africa and they, they have a long standing history of committing a lot of different types of fraud and they used a lot of the uh, pre-existing money mules. Uh, there's an extensive money mule network that operates here in the States. Again, even the transnational criminal organized groups overwhelmingly used or leveraged an American or an American profile to facilitate pandemic related fraud. So we did see that and we, we had an operation uh, that disrupted that group just last year. Thank you. Yeah.